Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Radwan. I'm a Visual Studio LM MVP and DevOps Practice Lead. In this video, we are going to see how to create your first unit testing JavaScript using Jasmine, which design for BDD or behavior driven development JavaScript for front end. In this video, we are going to focus how to to use the standalone version of Jasmine, uh, how to download and how to change the spec runners to run our code and to understand a basic syntax of Jasmine unit testing framework. I'm not going to explain all the syntax and functions of Jasmine unit testing. Maybe this could be another series but I'm going to explain the core unit testing development using Jasmine and of course continue on this series which is integrating with the build automation and with Grunt Task Runner and many others. And this video will be prerequisite for other videos if you are not uh, aware of how to develop your unit testing in JavaScript. So let's see that. So here is my application, a very simple um, application is a front-end application just using uh, HTML and CSS and I put my script here uh, as divided that into files calc function and UI functions so let me show you my application or my web so it just this uh, form so here if I click it will display these two if I click change text change write my name Mohammed Radwan if I decided to change the color if I put here two numbers there is some divided and subtract it, if I didn't put anything here then this will display an error very simple uh, web JavaScript uh, web page so um, this is the, um, the web page so I put the calculation function here in this GS file and I put here the UI functions it's very simple you know so um, so this is from the business if we look at the technical I have a function called show div when when I click on on this header then it gets the element of change text form and change color form and then change the style of the CSS to display uh, to display them this is why when I click here it show both of them get this element and display both of them and this is the one that I'm going to make a unit test using Jasmine for, for that part. So let's start how we are going to test that with JavaScript and Jasmine. But before that, let's go for Jasmine website and to see also the, um, you know, how the standalone Jasmine. You know, there is many ways, I, as I will explain, for running Jasmine uh, unit test. So let's look at the first one, which is the standalone one. So if I go for releases, let's download the standalone Jasmine. I can extract that here. So now I have the Jasmine standalone. So here we have um, this is what we call the standalone version which we have the spec runners if I run that file it will run the unit test but which one for the example provided with the Jasmine standalone let me show you here so for here for example the SRC here where is my JavaScript source code under test the spec here where is my unit test and here the Jasmine library, the SDK or the Jasmine SDK or library. 
So, and in the spec runner, if you look at that, let's uh, open that. Okay, let's open that in Visual Studio. We can see here the first part is just a reference the Jasmine uh, library. It specifying where is the source or the code under test and where is the test. So this is all what I need. Once I have that, I can run that. And as we can see, five spec run. So let me close that. Let me copy Jasmine. I will copy it here. So here as the spec and the SRC of so let me take the library and the spec runner. And put it here. I don't even need that. So, okay, I don't need this folder now. So I have the library and I have the spec runner. So the spec runner reference the library, which is correct because it is in the same bus here, library adjustment, yes, that's right. But when I look at my test, I don't have any test here. So where is the file under test? It will be under the script. I have this file, calc function. So in this case, I will change that to be It will be that just so I'm I'm going to create a folder. And this folder I will call tests. And I will use this name. So inside this one, I will add new item, which is JavaScript file. And I will name it UI function tests. So this is where the first is what I'm going to do in the in this test. So when I click here, this display let me refresh that so when i click here this display that so which call a function or a method called show dev so i need to test that function let me show you that if i put a breakpoint here this is the ui function so here in the show dev As we can see, if I start right click here, this will run the debugger F11. So it first gets the element, the menu, this div, then get the element of change text form, then get the element of change color form. Then here, if it is not displayed, then just display that here and it display that. So this is the function I want to test. Let's close that. Okay, so this is the function I want to test. So I started by having an empty. So what I need first, I'm going to call this function. And usually it is the same. Because I'm going to call this function, I need to add reference to this script. So how we can add reference? So we can call this function. So I add reference by just referencing that where is my application here. This is not the correct, so, but here inside scripts.
so if I put for example yes inside here first get out of this test then go for the script and UI function so not new here and we can see that it resolved because there is no green then I will start calling this function and how I'm going to do that by writing code which using the syntax of JSON. Here it is. As we can see here, this is just the name of my suite or my task. This is a high level name. So like grouping name. And then here, this is the name of the test method or the test function. So here we can see that show the function run with no error. And here I can say, Mm, suite one test the suite one test suite or bear naming for what I want so as I as you can see here I'm going to just call describe this is the name and then the delegate giving function which is taking it this is the name and the function is show div so this will call show div so if I didn't reference the the JavaScript under test, the file which include the functional under test, I can't call the function. So I need it first to reference that. So now I have my first unit test, which is fail. We will see that uh, and why will why it will fail. But as I explained, we just adjusted here where the here where is the source or the javascript under test and here where is the test file is tests and reference my file so i will save that then just go for i just go and run the speak runner so as we see that the method failed because it couldn't find you know I'm trying to set the style to, to display the show div but when when the function its function it's called but when the function is called it was null to retrieve the element because there is no element so what I had to do is to inject that in the DOM before my function call because as we say like when I start calling should if the, the should if here it will get this element which is not exist in the DOM I mean when when the, when the functional call get menu there is no menu in the page because this is set by by the HTML which is not exist so I need to set that at the runtime so how, how I'm going to do that by injecting that before running the method and removing that after running the method so let's see how we're going to do that so here this is the code I, i'm going to use for injecting and removing that so before each method I, I'll, i'm going to create texture and inside that i'm creating a dummy um, elements and as we can see dot insert and my fixture then after executing the function it will be removed so just save that and going to my function again test that and as we can see it show the function run with no error so it's run successfully and has no problem so to test my function if i went for the real code and let's say changing this something does not exist and try to run my function then it will fail because it couldn't retrieve this object so now as we can see here this is a very simple about how to write how to write unit test using jasmine and how to run that using the standalone version of the jasmine which is the speak runner HTML file that reference the, the script under test and the testing script. At the end, I would like to thank you for watching this video. Please, if you have any question or you would like to, to know anything, 
don't hesitate to contact me on my blog muhammadradwan.com you can also click on the links that will appear on the screen which is including the DevOps guide which is published on the TechNet. This guide includes basic principles about DevOps for people that want to get more familiar about uh, the high level of DevOps. You can also click on the, the related video which is usually is could adding more information for the current video which is appear now on the screen thank you